What's going on guys? So it's a beautiful long weekend here in Canada and I'm heading up north to the cottage. I figure it's a great time to go over five ways to make your landscape nature photography just that much better. Roll that intro. <laughs> What's up ladies and gents? Yes, we're up north. Yes, I'm gonna teach you guys a bunch of tips for better nature and landscape shots, but it's way too beautiful up here to just jump right into the tutorial. So probably gonna take you guys ATVing and you know on the boat and I'll just show you guys around. So let's check it out first. <laughs> Tip number one, and the reason I'm going with this one first is because it's probably the most important, is pay attention to the lighting. When you shoot your photos, it's gonna have a huge impact on how they turn out. If you're taking pictures of, you know, the lake at midday, the harsh light is probably gonna give you like a flat, kind of boring image. So find your shot if you want, and then wait till, I don't know, like sunset or golden hour, and take that same shot again. Check out the example I have here. It's the exact same shot, shot at three different times during the day. You can see how much of a difference the lighting makes. So honestly, just wait. Don't be impatient. Just wait for that perfect lighting. All right. Tip number two is to focus on composition. The best thing about nature and landscape photography is that for the most part, it doesn't move. Yeah, the water and the sky, the clouds move around, but like trees and architecture and stuff, it's all very static. So take the time to set up your tripod, focus on composition, play around with it, see what you like, and then going back to tip number one, wait for that optimal lighting. So you have your composition and you take advantage of the lighting. It's pretty straightforward. Let's move on to tip number three. Alright, so we just got back from what feels like a 500 mile walk and let me clarify that the proclaimers were wrong, I would not walk 500 miles. Anyway, I'm gonna cool off and go for a little swim and then I'll give you guys the rest of the tips, so hang on. Alright folks, for tip number three I decided to enlist some help from a fan favorite. You might uh, know and love him. What's, What's up? Alright Eric, tell these people what tip number three is. I can't tell them what tip number three is. You didn't tell me what the tip was. Sorry guys. <sighs> okay, well this is a surprise to me. Apparently I needed to tell him what tip number three was. Uh, tip number three is to go outside regardless of the weather like sometimes it might be muggy and too hot out But just get out there and take shots and like it could be raining Don't be a just put a rain jacket on and get outside because like those clouds and that rain might create like a crazy Dynamic range for your shot. So don't be afraid and then we'll move on to tip number four. I Don't know that one either Tip number four is to pick up one of these bad boys right here, ND or a polarizing filter, and these are beauty for two reasons. One, it helps cut out that harsh sunlight so you can keep like a shallow depth of field, that blurry background even during the day. And two, if you wanted to do like shots on the lake or on the water where you want that like long exposure, glossy water feel to it, you're gonna need one of these, otherwise you're letting way too much light in and you're not gonna be able to get that shot. Ow, bugs, damn it. Well, let's move on to tip number five. And lastly, tip number five, and the reason I save this one for fifth is because it's not so much a tip as it is like a 
suggestion or something you should try is bust out one of these bad boys, telephoto lens. The, the benefit to a telephoto lens is that it offers you a different focal length. Like a lot of nature and architecture and just landscape shots in general are shot on wide angle lenses to capture the most of an environment from a very tight space. But if you have the ability to shoot with a telephoto lens, honestly try it because you might be able to, you know, reach off into the distance and get a picture of something you weren't able to with a, let's say a 24 millimeter lens. So give this a try. I'm actually gonna shoot the island behind us. I showed you pictures of it before with the comparison of the light, but I'm gonna shoot it in midday just to show you how much closer you can get with a telephoto and a different composition you can pull off just by using this bad boy. So let's take a look at that right now. So there you have it folks, it's five pretty easy ways to just up that nature photography, up that landscape photography a little bit. And I hope this was helpful. If it was, just let me know in the comments below. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and I'll catch you guys in the next video because I need to go swimming. See ya.